Hi, we're here. Today we're going to um, put Pocket in his new environment, his terrarium. And Pocket is our desert pocket mouse that we found nearly dead on the Choya bush out front. He was stuck to the Choya. Pam thought he was dead. He's like, she said there's a dead mouse out there and for me to go throw the Choya branch with the dead mouse on it in the garbage. And when we went to pick up the Choya part, and he looked at he kind of like, well, he had his eyes closed, but he was like, you know, struggling to get off this thing because it was he had spikes all in him from the choya, and I ended up removing like, well, I clipped the spikes at first, and then I, I um, freed him, and then I put him in a cage, you know, a, a, this bin right down here, and then um, I, um, the next day, he perked up a little, so I decided I'd operate on him, and kind of held him in the glove and, and slowly, like one by one, picked out the spikes from him. And um, I got about right close to 15 spikes out of him, 10 to 15. And um, he still has, I think, like one more little one by his nose. I don't know how I'm going to get that, but I'll try. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to... Now, I was thinking of releasing him in the wild, but I don't think quite yet because we're getting a cold spell. And hmm, i got a Choya in me, um, in my finger. Um, and I heard owls the last few days, like five in the morning, four in the morning, like hooing back and forth right up on our corner there. So it's not a good thing for him. That's his natural predator is the owl. So um, poor little guy, he's, he's related to the kangaroo rat I read online. And I've been feeding him his, what he normally eats, which is Pella Verde pods. Come on, sweetie. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to put you in your new place. Here's your new environment, okay? Come on. It's okay. What do you got in there for him? Look. I got a little um, den he can go into. Come on. It's okay. A little den he can go into. And um, a little wheel. Hopefully he'll use it. If he doesn't, then uh, we'll take it out. <laughs> I'll put some of his pods in there for him. Here you go, cutie. Here, you want a pod? Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's in his little place there. <laughs> Here. He seems to like it in there. You want that? He's hungry right now. Not hungry. He's like, where am I? Yeah, he's a little spooked, maybe. It's okay. Oh no, he's getting a little nervous, I think. Maybe because he doesn't have the protection of the um, darkness of the can, I don't know. No, he's starting to dig a little. Oh, okay. He's starting to dig. I guess. He's in his little... Yeah. I'm going to put some pods in for him. And seeds. He's just checking it out. Mm -hmm. I'll get used to it. What are those? That's um mesquite pod. Is he, he likes those, doesn't he? He likes those, but he likes the Palo Verde better. It's just the green. Yeah. Bush. The green tree. And then he has these. These are the seeds from it right here. You can see them. Okay. Like that. I usually break them open for them a little to have like nut kind of stuff inside of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he likes it in there. <laughs> it's kicking the dirt. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's his little burrow. Like it in there? Here. Oh, he grabbed the nut up. Oh no. Nice kicking. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna make a burrow yet. Oh yeah. He likes that. Yeah.
There's Pocket in his new home. Seems to be enjoying it. Goes back down into his little den. 